Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris and the Tristanian Unified Corporation. Ignore the fact that it says Empire right there. That should say Unified Corporation. I am Sir Tristan. Let's pick up where we left off. Where were we? I was exploring up this way, I believe. Building a rapid response fleet. Yep, that's taking out these mining stations over here. I'm pretty sure I'm prepping to go to war with the Republican Cupulsi Worlds. And how's my alliance standing? Negative eight here. Mm, straight up zero here. And negative 16. So it's possible to start some alliances pretty soon. I do remember from last time, I don't really want to, just since I'm role playing, I don't really want to ally myself with the Klagian regime since they are slavers and I am a xenophile. So I probably won't ultimately end up joining with them. But these two empires down here, the Naj Najlax League and the Holy Rothak Empire, there's a good chance I want to do that. Here's an, actually an alliance invitation. This is from the Klagian regime. These are the guys we were just talking about. The galaxy is dark and full of terrors. Very nice. Join us in this alliance for mutual protection. I'm going to say no. I'm role playing here. I'm gonna say no. They, uh, th we don't, we don't match. Our ethics don't match. Uh, did that negatively affect our relationship? Actually, no, not at all. Not at all. I don't want to necessarily go to war with them, but I don't think I really want to be their friends either. At least as far as uh, in the straight up alliance goes. So. I think I'll put that down for now. Ago has finished production. What was I building? Right, it doesn't tell you, but it was something on the surface. Last populations being built here. I did destroy those uh, robots in the last episode. I might build them on a planet where um, it doesn't matter terribly if I, or uh, where my happiness needs to be a lot higher, maybe since they don't care about happiness that much. But I am trying something new with my microphone. Hopefully, I'm coming through a little clearer. Spaceport has finished, I believe, another Corvette. We're at 25 now out of 26, which is good. Basically, at my cap. Nobody to work this thing. Um. I guess we'll throw him up here since he's almost done. The system has been surveyed. Zoom out, please. There we go. Right, but I can't do anything with this yet. Okay, okay. All right. Everybody's still doing things. I am sitting at a pretty large negative in energy credits, but I do have that that safe kind of uh, buffer there, so that's fine. Research station's done there. I do need to build a research station there, but can I get credits anywhere? Not really. I'm pretty much maxed out. Oh, that's right. I was going to build. Here you go. A frontier outpost here. And that should let me pick up all of these stations. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight energy credits should be pretty good. My other construction ship. Oh no, my other construction ship's heading there already. So let's go ahead and build a research station here instead. A new contact. We've received a communique. And um, it's the United Domanin, Domana Council. Greetings. I speak for Executive Silurin. Siluri and the wealthy elite of the United Domana Council. We are always looking for new trading partners among the many diverse and delightful alien nations we encounter as our ships explore the galaxy. Cooperation will surely benefit us all. Let's take a look at them. They are Federation builders just like the Holy Ro uh, Rothak Empire is. That still doesn't answer my question of who is here, but at least we know now. Oh wait, who's this? Hmm. Oh, they're a vassal. They're a vassal under the United Domana Council. So maybe what happened was there was a 
pre-warp civilization here, perhaps. And um, the United Domain Accounts will uplift them. Maybe. That would be my guess. They don't like us because we are considered materialist fools, and they are spiritualist seekers. Spiritual seekers believe that all life is connected through some higher power that can be understood through its creations. They will seek peaceful cooperation with their empires in the hopes of studying their connection to the divine. They are fanatic pacifists and spiritualists. Compared to them, they are also federation builders. They are fanatic xenophiles and spiritualists. It seems to me like it's a good idea to recall their embassy here and send the embassy here. At minus 10, they are spiritualists. We're going to have to overcome that. They are rivals, though. Oh, this is going to be a problem. They're rivals with the Najlax League. So, if I befriend them, I may have to go to war here. Interesting. Interesting. So, how would I handle that? Because they're not going to join an alliance together. There's no way. On the other hand, they are, they look like they're stronger than the Najax League is. Hmm. Let's go ahead and establish an embassy. I don't have to make any promises yet. Um, you know, I am... I am fanatic materialist, but I, I don't feel like that would. I don't feel like that would prevent me from having an alliance with spiritualists, as far as my role play is concerned. So, special project completed. In a masterful display of engineering, the team under Science Officer Ribdubus has managed to gently raise the derelict ship on Grucklosh to the gas giant's upper atmosphere. Despite its age, the ancient cruiser is in remarkably good condition, and we have restored power to its systems. No trace of the original crew remains, but we have brought over our own and commissioned the ship into the fleet. So we got a new ship. Um, nope, this one. Here. Is that the ship? It is! A derelict class ship. It has a warp drive. Large red lasers, sentinel point defenses, medium red lasers, and a bunch of energy reactors. No shields. A lot of hull points though, which is pretty cool. Let's send this guy to our home system here. No? There we go. Send it here. And I'll just have to meet up with my regular fleet, I think. I think that makes sense. Finished our surface... Oh, okay, don't go there. Finished my surface production here. I don't even know what I was building, but it looks like I have some time here while this builds up. And then from there, probably down here. Lots of tiles to clear on that planet, which is very exciting. Still have some timed projects. Do I have anybody going there? Survey, 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 survey. More survey. I do like knocking out those debris fields. Wow, that's a long space lane. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess you finished doing that. And then, where where's those special projects? Here? Yeah. No. Different one. Here. Okay. So once you're done here... There we go. We will send him up, Ribjubus, to do these research projects. I think I'm still gonna have enough time. It's like 600 days or something. Yeah, almost 700 days. So there should be enough time. We will want to share, I think, our
data with them are star charts before too long. Let's send them back as well. I didn't really want to go to war with them until I had System survey complete. some kind of alliance, but I don't think I'm going to be able to wait. I don't think I'll be able to wait. I think I need to go ahead and commit now. They are weaker than us and should be of little concern. Oh, we're actually over our cap, though. Probably because that large ship cost us a lot. So maybe now that means this is a really good time to go to war. Let's build our, our frontier outpost here. Good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my fleet together. That's equal to four ships, that one, I guess. And then we'll go ahead and attack, I think. Maybe just try to vassalize them completely. And then integrate them later on. They are xenophobic. They are not going to mix very well. But I don't think that I can do a purge. That would be very anti, um, anti roleplay for xenophiles. So, research complete. Research is done. We have unlocked our antimatter missile, so that might be worth upgrading if I have any missiles. Actually, I don't think that I do. Oh, no, I do have missiles. Okay, so I probably will upgrade them before I go to war. Engineering facility, space torpedoes. This reveals this brand new resource. Mm. Armor. I think I'll do this. I think I will reveal, because I, I do need power now since I'm running a pretty decent negative. So I think I'll reveal this Betharian stone resource, and I might have some on my own planets. We'll see. And then that will let me build this special power plant that uses that resource. So we'll put that into the queue. Let's go ahead and upgrade our Corvette. Anomaly found. Got a new anomaly. Let me pause it real quick. Impressive structures, litter, Cher Chergamore's one surface. Practically begging for some archaeology work. 2% failure. Pretty good. Go ahead and research it right now. Let's replace these missiles with antimatter missiles. Power minus 7, really. Yep, I'm gonna need better power. I don't know if I can replace seven. I'm still at minus two, so I could take off a shield. So do I want more defense or more offense? I think offense is for sure what I want to do here. So once the fleet returns, I think I will save up a little bit of money and then I will upgrade these ships. It's probably gonna take a few hundred to upgrade. So I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of a buffer I think that would be wise. Research complete. More research is done. I have extra monthly influence, which is going to pay for the um, outpost, the frontier outpost. I just put down here. I can build a planetary capital, and then I can get an, a new edict. So that's fine. Regenerative whole tissue is my special project. About halfway through. I might leave that, because I might pick that up on my own in the future. Former Federation, that might be useful if I'm going to start coloni or, um, combining alliances pretty soon. I'm not sure what you need for a Federation, other than multiple... Multiple... Uh, gal not galaxies, multiple... Nations? Empires is what I'm looking for. Naval capacity could be nice, uh, but I think unlocking new new worlds to colonize is, is what I wanted to go with. All right, rapid response fleet is about to return home. And when they arrive, like they just have, I'm gonna combine them here. <laughs> Here's my anomaly. Chera Gamor 1 is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cinto, cin, cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines deftly chart a history so fantastical 
it must surely be fictional. Surely. And we gain some engineering research. I love that word, fantastical. I use that for work whenever I can. Fantastical. I actually just used it in a pitch, I think, not too long ago. Use the word fantastical for something. Okay, you know what? Can you guys kind of fly in as well? Come on. Come on. How about? We're merging these two. There we go. And it's going to cost... Eh, 300 to upgrade. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. What's this construction ship doing? It's doing nothing. Let's give it a job. There's basically nothing else. All of the planets that I can control. Yeah, that's everything. So let's actually go ahead and send it down here. All the planets that I control, pretty much everything is built. So let's send them down here. When this frontier outpost is done, both of these ships are going to have plenty to do. So that's good. This fleet is going to take some time to upgrade, and as soon as it's done... Oh wow, it's going to take a long time. That's a long time. But it should be worth it. Debris analyzed, whatever. Let's move our nice giant... I don't really know what this is. It's a cruiser. Which is, I think, one step up from a destroyer goes uh, Corvette Destroyer Cruiser, I believe. And I think you can tell that by the number of pips, the little um, one, two, three little dots underneath there. So, I'll go as upgrading 300 days. As soon as that's done, we're going to war. We're going to war. Because, you know, I, I am xenopho or xenophile, so I do like other species, but I am materialist as well. It's all about the Benjamins at the end of the day. That and research. And, um, you know, I need this special project. There's a ton of research and good stuff in there. Wait, what is this? Oh, I left that. I tell you what, let's send our new ship. I kind of want to see what it can do. So let's send it back. To attack this guy. I think that'll work. Oh, that's my construction ship. I was like, oh, that's moving pretty fast, but no. Still way over here. He has to fly to the edge of the system. Then he can start warping. I got my science ship. It's just kind of done. It's sitting there. I do need to survey this system. Yeah, it's not been surveyed yet. I do like the grayed out. Makes it pretty easy just by looking, right? Like if it has a name, I've visited it. If it's gray, I've not surveyed it. If it's white, I have. So very easy to see. Makes a lot of sense. Wait a minute. What's that special project? Where are you? You're surveying here. <laughs> I'm kind of losing. Where am I? Okay, there. So then you come up and you do this special project. And then the system's been surveyed. Okay, good. Good, good. Just making sure I had everything queued up. I do miss things on occasion. What's this? Computed construction of the frontier outpost. Nice. Yeah, good. I got all three. Very good. So let's go ahead and build mining stations here. Can I go ahead and get them all? And then with the other construction ship, I will build these mining stations. Starting to get a lot of money, a lot of minerals, and I, I don't really know what to spend them on yet. I need to think about what I can spend them on. Still some colonizable planets. Maybe that's what I should be spending them on. Research complete. Got our research done. We can now see the uh, Betharian stone. So let's pick some new research. Plasma thruster. I guess a better thruster. For only small ships, not for large ships. This would unlock a bigger mineral silo. Maybe we should actually build that because... We may need to um, 
we may need to start storing some more minerals. I don't know, I've got a pretty big buffer still. Let's go with this, new ship, ship type destroyer. That gives me mineral storage as well. Spaceport level three. I think that's the wisest thing. Oh, and we have war. The United Domanic Council has attacked the Najax League. Can I see what it's about? No, I can't. I was hoping I could perhaps see the war goals to see what they were after, but I guess I cannot. That's very strange. These are fanatic xenophiles, but they don't really have a problem attacking. I should try to make friends with them pretty soon. They seem to be pretty aggressive. I'm not sure why. Plus 13 with them, so that's good. I'm not coming to your aid. I'm sorry. If you get kind of brought down a peg or two, that's maybe okay. Not a huge fan of that gap here. Hopefully pretty soon I can kind of unlock some of these. Tropical. Oh wait, here we go. Can I do continental? Tropical. No, I don't have tr I don't have continental. I'm getting tropical though, so that's good. Pretty soon I'll be able to kind of pick up these places. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh good, okay. So let's see what this guy can do with his gigantic red lasers. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Uh, not much damage. Wow, lots of stuff at once. A new anomaly. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. 7% failure rate seems awfully worth it, so let's go ahead and do it. We surveyed a system. We found an anomaly. Surveyed another system. We finished our ship upgrades. 950 power now. And remember, I'm using better battles, which is going to drop the power of a lot of these, or pretty much everything so that the battles take a little bit longer. Cool. He's moving into range there, so now he can fire both his large and his small. Not a whole lot of damage, it seems, coming out of here, but I guess it just is 100 power. Okay, I'm going to rename this Rapid Response Fleet to Rapid invasion fleet. Hopefully he doesn't look over and see what I've named this fleet. Now I do believe what I need to do is I need to go uh, mm, hmm. well approaching Nuyik uh, Nuki 5 the ship, because huh, I'm not going to read that, suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. Uh oh. The projectiles were billions of years old and based on their trajectory, they appeared to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. What? After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. The rounds we have recovered are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. That's so funny. I'm sure glad they missed, or only glanced, man. I wonder how long, right? That would be thousands. Hundreds of thousands of years, a bullet traveling from a neighboring galaxy way over here somewhere. That's crazy. Super cool. I love I love stuff like that. Anyway, as I was saying, on Ago, I do need to build some armies so that I can assault and take over planets. So let's recruit some assault armies. I don't know how many I need. Um, let's just build five for now. And then in the spaceport, I need to build... First, I need to find a transport ship. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a transport ship. Can I not edit this thing? Oh, I see. Okay, it's already loaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. So let's load the transport ship. And we will add some features. Add a medium deflector. A small deflector. And a small fusion reactor. Actually, can I maybe do that? Okay. 
cost 20. This costs how much? 10. So I did that and that. Okay, so that's actually cheaper. That's five cheaper. So we'll save the transport design. And I'm not sure how much a transport ship can carry. Wait a minute. I can't build it. Why not? Nope, don't do that. So for some reason, I can't build it. Science construction corvette. Maybe once maybe I have to have ground troops first. Maybe. I don't actually know. Let's get these ground troops first. Because um I, you know, I can attack them all day long and just kind of just trounce them forever up and down left and right, but if I can't get troops down onto the planets, I can't ever do anything with them, so. Are you done? No, you're still fighting. That's taking a little while. I don't think they're actually taking any damage. Oh, they are taking a little bit. Sounds like a bit of a glitchy sound there. All right, new type of warp drive, which is going to need to go on every ship eventually. Red crystal shards, mining drone. Here's a special building. Powerful sensor array that can be added to the structure of orbital spaceports. They provide excellent sensor coverage of the surrounding region of space. One maintenance, we get planetary sensor range and extra science and... Well, all kinds of sounds output. That seems like a very uh, colony development speed. Don't care too much about. That seems like a very fanatic um, materialist thing to do. So let's go ahead and get the observatory. Plus, it's a rare, a rare technology. So that seems to be a good idea. I'll send them back here. This science ship. It is going to go here to this debris, and then I'll send it here to this one. Very good. I'm hoping that once I build my first troop transport, I'll actually be able to build an assault craft, or a, a transport craft. Okay, I actually have it. I've got first wave troops, assault army. I still cannot, I still cannot build a, oh, interesting, we've had some drift going on. We have individualists and fanatic materialists, or we have xenophiles. So do I want to spread my xenophiles? I think I do. That seems to make sense for now. But I'm going to go ahead and build that just to get that out of the way. I still can't build, I, I don't know if it's like a destroyer, perhaps, a, if a tr transport is a destroyer. That's a defense platform, I don't care too much about that. New design. Let's do a new design transport ship just to see. Just to see what this will do. Save as transport. Save. Okay. Now, can I build this? Incoming I cannot. Okay, well, I don't know why. Let's go ahead and kill that transport. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe because I need the destroyer tech, which if that's the case, it's um Oh no, it's done, isn't it? So maybe I have to upgrade my Station? Missing technology destroyers. I could have sworn. Oh, I am. Okay, so seven months to go. Okay, alright, well, maybe we'll just wait for that, see if that works. We've got an alliance, again from the Klagian regime. Sorry. It's just not in my. Oh, look at that, they've expanded. It's just not, uh. It's just not a part of who I am. 
not a part of who I am. Let's see, are these guys docked? They are docked. Let's go ahead and dock my next, my, uh, my new ship. I have construction ships that are not doing anything. Let's build some mining stations here and you go ahead and build the research stations. Poor little offset, poor little group. Tundra world, I can't, Tundra. Desert. I'm not going to be able to do those anytime soon, I don't think. More surveying. Our science ship is done surveying, so we can send them out to here. Like so. Go ahead and unpause it. Let's go ahead and try to do a trade. Let's do some star charts. Nope, not yet. The uh, embassy has not worked its magic yet, which is fine. Come on, technology. Oh, what are you doing to me? Let's cancel that. Oh, you're almost done anyway. There we go. That's in their territory, so I can't send my science ship over there. So I suppose we can just start doing this. More surveying. Surveys for everyone. We we're about to wrap up this episode, but I want to just see if this destroyer thing works. Anomaly found. Repeated scans of Kalenio 8 surface gives inconsistent sensor readings, almost as if the planet itself was in a constant state of upheaval. Gotta research it. 22% is, uh, it's not super safe, but it's well worth the risk. Oh no, this slowed down. What happened? Oh well. Oh well. Got our armies almost done. Our colony ship almost done. Um, I guess we'll leave it at five for now. Do they do they cost less for being on their own planet? It doesn't look like it. it doesn't look like it. Mining station's done. This construction, construction ship has nothing to do. You can build a research station. That'd be good. Back into the negative. Let's unpause it. The very geological structure of Salino 8 is indeed in flux, driven by what science officer Malyungord assures us is a tectonic process as fascinating as it is esoteric. What is of more interest to the Tristanian Empire is that hang on, is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless chaotic self-transformation. In short, a near instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely, more habitable is theoretically possible. He estimates that an additional 200 energy credits will be needed to power a thorough mapping of the planetary activity and determine a valid the validity of what the science officer has ter termed a surgical terraforming strike. Actual terraforming has been... Oh, actual terraforming lies beyond our grasp at present, so this is an exciting opportunity. I can give it its 200 credits with a 50% chance to do it, or get extra six. Uh, let's try it. Seems like a fun, interesting thing. Here we go. Our observ observation post above Koleg Koleg's Keep, which is down here in Iblin, has detected an illegal settlement on the planet's surface. It appears to be some kind of outpost set up by Tristanian smugglers and other criminal elements from the Tristanian Empire. There's already been isolated incidents where the smugglers have come into contact with the primitive natives, some of which ended in violence. Oh, no. We need to act quickly to contain the situation and remove the criminals before they can cause any more damage. Situation Let's clear them out. Let's clear them out. That ain't right. That ain't right. A transport ship. Well, <laughs> okay. That's a bit of trouble. The crew are disappointed to report that the window of opportunity for terraforming the planet has closed. Despite their best efforts to identify it in time, Another opportunity is unlikely to arise <coughs> in the future, or for another few centuries. Well, that was unfortunate. 
All right, well, I need a transport ship to handle this problem down here in Iblin. But... <laughs> but I can't build a transport ship. I can't scrap these things to see if I could build a transport ship somehow. So I don't know what to do. We're going to have to wait and see. I know I'm a little bit over at... Uh, a little over my time here, so I think I might go ahead and call this episode for now. I meant to go to war, but it uh, looks like that wasn't in the cards for this episode. Definitely in the next episode, that should happen. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you next time.